spin-off. So last, but very much not least, we have Ron Alvarez, who, as I said, was selected last year as one of the top 50 teachers in the world. His own life in Venezuela was changed by the famous musical and social program El Sistema. As a result, he became a violinist, conductor, teacher, and cultural manager. He's taught masterclasses around the world, including in refugee camps. In 2011, he founded an orchestra for Inuit children in Greenland, just 700 kilometers away from the Arctic Circle. And two years ago, he created the Dream Orchestra in Gothenburg in Sweden, with young and teenage refugees, help them, helping them to integrate into Swedish society. This model is being copied in several European countries. My late mother came from just down the road from Yetebori, as I was brought up to call it, so I'm particularly thrilled to have him here. Over to you, Ron. Thank you so much. Uh, what's after all this speech is quite really hard to talk. <laughs> but one of the things is um, every time that I ask this, uh, have this question, uh, why we still need art, why we still need uh, humanities, and for 2030, I just think about my life. And I think about how music has been changed my life. I've been thinking also uh, how music changed my life, but also how music has been changed the life of my students and how music is can change the life of all new students. So one of the things is I was born in Caracas, Venezuela, which is a really difficult city, and right now even more. I have the first contact with music when I was uh, around seven. Uh, I was in my grandmother's house, have a little uh, shop that she created just to sell uh, ice creams. And selling that ice cream after school when I was seven, I hear for the first time the name of Beethoven and Mozart. And I was curious to know what it was about. And I, my grandmother says, it will be nice if after school you can help me here to do work, but also that you do another activity. And I remember my first class as unique. And was exactly unique. And then I remember to read an article about Jack Mack who says, we need to teach something unique. We cannot compete with machine. We cannot teach the kid to compete with machine. We need to teach the soft skills. And that's what exactly I learned from the music. That's what exactly I learned from the music. Music gave me the way to, to be passionate, to work for my future and future of the others. Independent thinking, teamwork. And at the same time, Maestro Jose Antonio Abreu, who created the programs, is my mentor. He always mentioned uh, a quote of Arnold's. Uh, Arnold uh, uh, Toyner, who is a historian, he said that uh, we live in a Christ, an spiritual Christ. And then I think it's not about economic crisis, it's not about political crisis. It's about how we build our soul, how we build our spirit, how we can be uh, better. And then my answer is we need music and art. I must say music art and humanities are a requirement to have a good life. You must have, at kids need to have access to art, access to humanities, access to music. For me, education is a, a, a path of multiple destinies. But when that journey includes music as it was in my life, you, feed, you give to the kids many possibilities because music is, is peace, is love, but at the same time, is life. I would like to uh, mention a quote that I read some time ago uh, about Platon. He said, I will teach children music, physics, and philosophy, but most importantly, music. For the patterns in music and all art are the keys for learning. And it is like this. I feel that when I was learning music, I was in an orchestra. Now they're teaching in a refugee camp, when teaching uh, in north of Greenland, or any place in Kenya. I see the kids. 
And I can see that all of them are the same. They are kids. They are waiting for the future. They don't know what problems are around us. They just want to have the opportunity to accomplish their dream. And art is that opportunity to give them to express themselves. For me, music is a way, is an instrument to have a voice. Because every time when we talk about music, people say, oh, music is a universal language. But we use universal language of what? Of our heart, of our soul. It's a universal language to communicate each other, even to I'll say anything. I use music as, as communicate ballet dancers do by the body. Others do by painting. Others do by writing. But the most important is that all, all of us give that opportunity to the students and to the kids. I would like to, because for me, it's really hard always to go to the stage and speak out teaching. I always need to learn and teach something. I've been learning so much from you. And I would like to teach you something very quickly and very easy. It will take me one minute. And it's actually about people say, because I'm a conductor for children, what the conductor does. Mm. Why, why this guy is with a little stick just there doing moving the hands? And actually, you are just a moderator. You help them to understand that the orchestras and the choir are community, how they can respect each other, how they can learn values, how you can use music as a tool for values. And that's what I learned in El Sistema in Venezuela. And that's why I develop in many places. So very quickly. Uh, can you imagine if you are in a, in a big, big house? Put your hand like this. And then you just decide uh, to go uh, to the laundry to make your wash, because that's normal life. Go down. And then after, uh, go to your left. Exactly. And then, and then you eat something, because that's important for life. That's basic. And then read a book to your uh, other side. <laughs> and then go to sleep because you need also to rest. They are important and basic important. So let's do now a quickly. Let's do quickly the same thing. But let's put passion, love. Let's put chain. Let's chain the person who is next to you with this movement. Or just doing laundry, reading book, and go to the kitchen eat. And do your basic thing that everybody does. So go down. Go to the uh, kitchen, go to, uh, to read the book, and then go to your room. And now, let's do quickly with one hand. Put in front of your hand, go down, <laughs> go to the kitchen, <laughs> go to the room, and go to your room. And actually, you're already conducting. <laughs> because one of the things, and it's what I want to share, is through art, through music, we can teach what we have, we, we have every day. It's nothing different. Give that opportunity to the kids. Give that opportunity to the children. We always talk about to make this world better and change the world. I don't think that we need to change the world. We need to understand the world. We need to respect the culture. And at the same time from that, learn every day and use, give opportunity of access to every kid with music, art, and humanities. And in that way, you will have a kid who can dream, who can conduct. What can conduct? Them dreams, them life, and share with each other, because that's exactly what we need for 2030, for the, the education tomorrow. We need to give opportunity to the kids to have a voice, and that voice is, can be art or humanity, and especially in my life, music. One more, because that wasn't exactly a question, but a very, very important point. Yes. Hi, my name is Daria. I'm from Mexico. Um, I recently graduated high school. Um, and one of the things that you know was a big problem, I'm really into humanities, but we are not allowed as students to explore creativity that much in humanities. You are set um, a set list of books you can read, poems you can read. Um, 
things in music that you can explore, whereas in STEM, you're allowed to create whatever mm -hmm. you want, explore whatever you want. Yeah. So how can we, as students, as learners, fight against that and explore our own creativity within humanities? Who would like to answer that? Someone who hasn't answered the previous question. Any takers? What? Darwin? Oh, maybe. Well, one of the things, um, and this happened all the time, is to give uh, freedom to the students to develop their creativity, but at the same time, to give instruction on how to find that uh, creativity to develop, to get the skill to develop their own creativity. Because you have the uh, kind of information and that knowledge how to take that creativity, then it's more easy to uh, like really engage that. So I think as a musician, I give tools to my students who can really help them to be a leader. And then that's why I teach uh, music, because the student they have now will be the new politician, will be the new leaders. So if I get them this knowledge, then that will be the new decision. So for that, I think I use uh, creativity in a, in a freedom, but at the same time, I give instruction so they can really get that knowledge.